released. So today's video, we're going to be turning our GoPro into a neat little webcam. As I'm making this video, we're still in the midst of COVID-19, so live streaming is more popular than ever. So why not turn your GoPro, which can stream in 1080p, into a neat little webcam? It's really simple to do. We'll be using OBS Studio, which is a free to download software for Windows and Mac. And all you'll need to invest in is one of these Camlink USBs. So these Camlink USBs retail for around £120. It's around $150 US dollars, I believe, something in that region. And I'll link to it on Amazon in the description. So the only other thing that you may need is an HDMI to mini HDMI lead, which look like this, and I'll leave a link in the description. And pick these up fairly cheap. So I'm using a GoPro Hero 7. that will be the same on any GoPro that you're using. You'll plug the mini HDMI into the mini HDMI slot on your GoPro. So that's how you plug the GoPro in. Then you're going to take the other end of the HDMI, plug that into the cam link, and then you're just going to plug this USB into your PC or Mac. Okay, so now I've got my GoPro attached to my PC via the cam link and the HDMI cable. You can't see it all because it's off screen at the moment. So now I'll show you how to download the OBS software. You're going to want to change a few preferences on the GoPro. You're going to go to Preferences. You're going to go to Input Output. Then HDMI Output. It will be on Media. You want to change it to Live. Okay, so change it to Live. That's all you want to do. Go to Google, other search engines are available. Type in OBS and it will come up with OBS Open Broadcaster Software and that's the website you want. So we go to there and then it will give you the option to download for Windows, Mac and Linux. I've already downloaded the software onto my computer. It's very straightforward. Okay, so if we open up OBS Studio, then we're just going to be confronted with this blank screen. That's because we haven't yet added our GoPro as a source. So if we go down into the source tab, click the plus button and we'll go to video capture device and then we'll call it GoPro and we'll click OK. And now you can see the GoPro is on our OBS screen, but there I am from my GoPro camera, which is down here. So we'll click OK. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we're only getting the audio from the GoPro. Or if you didn't want the audio from the GoPro and you want it from your Mac or your PC, then you would select that audio. But what you want to make sure is that you're only using one source of audio. So if we go down to our audio mixer here, what we're going to do it's going to click the audio icon on the audio that we don't want. So we don't want the desktop audio. We don't want Mike Orcs audio. We just want the audio that's coming straight from the GoPro via the cam link. Okay. Now we've got the audio coming from the GoPro, the video coming from the GoPro, all coming in via our HDMI cable. But what you will find is there is a lag between the audio and the video. And this is just because audio files are much smaller and the video files have to come down via the HDMI cable in through the USB and there is going to be a time lag. So what you need to do to compensate this is add a delay to the audio so the audio then syncs up with the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to record a short video on OBS and to do that we're going to go to start recording and then we're going to just clap five times and then we're going to go to stop recording we're going to go to File, Show Recordings, and there's our video there. If we open this up, you'll be able to see the lag between the audio and the video. Let's just play this quickly. We're going to just clap five times. You can see there that the video is definitely lagging behind the audio. So that's what we need to fix. Now, I'm going to assume that you're not using an audio editing software. If you were, then you could just drag the video into your audio editing software and you would see the difference between the audio clap and the actual visual clap. And that's the time offset that you want to enter into our audio preferences here, which I'll show you what to do now. Then I have access to audio editing software. It is just a case 
of putting in a figure, recording a new video, and doing it until the audio and video matches up. Remember, you've only got to do this once, and then when you open up the software again, the settings will be saved, so. I've done this already for the GoPro, so I know what offset to put in. So you'll go to the gear next to the GoPro audio, go to advanced audio properties, and then where the GoPro is, where the sync offset is, we're gonna put in, I happen to know it's 1050 milliseconds. So I'll put that figure in. Then if we go to start recording, and I do the claps again, one, two, three, four, five, go to stop recording. So we go to file, show recordings, to start recording, one, two, three, four, five. And you can see that now the audio syncs up with the video, which is great. So the only other thing that you might want to do is improve the audio. So you might have another audio source that you may want to use, an external microphone, condenser microphone. In my case, I've got the AKG C214. I've used this on tutorials before, a nice little microphone. So perhaps I want the GoPro video, but I want some better audio that comes from a nearer source, or that just isn't the GoPro audio, so it's something that's a little bit better. So here's how you do this. Go into your OBS studio. So here we are. In our sources section, we would go to the plus button to add, and we would go to audio input capture. And then we would go, so I'll put condenser mic. Okay. Then it's going to ask you for the device. Now I'm going in through an audio interface. You might be going in straight through a USB, but whichever way you're going in, it will have that option or should have that option in the drop down menu. So I'm going to choose my audio interface here and go to OK. Now in our audio mixer down the bottom, we've now got condenser mic. So what we want to do is switch off our GoPro audio. So we'll switch off that mic. Right? And now we have just got the audio from the condenser microphone. Now you're going to want to do the same thing with the condenser microphone that you've done with the GoPro audio and it might be slightly different. So there might be a different lag between the audio on this and the GoPro video than the audio from the GoPro and the GoPro video. So you have to go through the same process again to link the audio and video up. I've already done this. So if I go into my condenser microphone gear, advanced audio properties, and I'm going to put the sync offset at 1250. So now the audio from my condenser microphone should be synced with the video from the GoPro. So let's just do a video and just check that that is the case. So we're gonna to go to start recording, check that this microphone is now providing the audio to go with the GoPro video. And we're just checking that this is in sync. Okay, we'll go to stop recording. And then we're gonna to go to file, show recordings, find the most recent one believe is this one and we'll just check to see if the audio matches the video and I'm just gonna check that this microphone is now providing the audio to go with the GoPro video and we're just checking that this is in sync and there we have it now we've got nice crisp audio from the condenser microphone to go with the GoPro video so that's how you live stream using your GoPro and OBS studio really simple HDMI cable, cam link. There are other USBs that you can use, but this cam link one, I've never had any issues with. It's relatively cheap, and I would highly recommend getting one of these. 120 quid, 150 US dollars. It's relatively cheap for what it does. And that's all you need to stream with your GoPro. Syncing the audio and video is the most complicated part of this process, but it's not really that complicated. It's just a bit of trial and error. And once you've done it once, you know what the sync offset is, so you don't have to do it each time. So it's a one-off thing that you need to do. So if you've got a GoPro and you want a simple live stream option, then this is it. OBS Studio, GoPro, simple. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you have, then please do give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. 
I read and reply to all your comments. It's always good to hear from you guys, start a bit of a community so we can have a conversation. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I release content on a Monday and a Thursday, gear tech reviews, tutorials, all that sort of thing. It'd be great to have you on board, so please do hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. That's it for me for this one. I'll catch you in the next one.